Hello my friends, welcome to Yoga with Yolanta. My name is Yolanta and today I wanted to show you um, inverted postures uh, that are very restorative and can be quite relaxing as well to end your day just before going to sleep. Let's just warm up before we, um, before we do that. So you can start by laying down on your back, bringing the palms beside you and just rolling your head from side to side slowly. And then bring the head back to the center, bring the chin down towards your chest. And we're going to inhale, raise both of your arms up above your head. And then exhale, bring them back down slowly, mindfully. Lengthening the spine, lengthening your breath, inhaling, exhaling. Two more times. And then stretch out, you can bring the palms together, really lengthen the spine. And then bring the palms at your heart and stay in here just for four breaths. You can close your eyes. And then bringing the palms beside you. Bring the heels as close to your bum as is possible. We're going to do the bridge pose. So the feet will be hip distance apart. Tuck your chin in and before you come into the bridge pose, this will protect your lower back, so lift the tailbone up. Now the bum is going to go up and your spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. And then as you exhale, place the spine back down on the floor. And relax your tailbone. So tailbone up, inhale. Exhale. Two more times. One more time. Stay here for four breaths. Once more, tuck your chin under and then tailbone up. Come up into the bridge and you can bring the palms underneath your lower back. Lift yourself up onto your toes and maybe walk the heels even closer towards your bum and just staying in here and I want you to concentrate on your breathing as you're breathing in let the belly come up and let the breath travel up to your chest on the exhalation you're relaxing the chest and then the belly follows and stay in here for a few more breaths Two more breaths. And lower yourself down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Relax your spine now. Bring your tailbone down and you can move the feet away from your bum. Hug your left knee to your chest. And now alternate, hug your right knee. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And then hug both of the knees and rock from side to side. And then bring the knees back to the 
center. As you exhaling, lift the head off the floor, bring the forehead towards the knees, drop the shoulders down. Two more breaths. And inhale, place the head down on the floor and then raise both of the legs up now, bring the toes down towards the knees and raise your arms up, have the palms facing one another. You can spread the toes on the right, which will deepen the stretch in your hamstrings. And stay have a few more breaths. You're going to inhale in here, exhale, bend the knees and open your arms out to the side. Inhale, exhale. Two more times. And again, hold the legs and your arms up there. Two more breaths. And then hug the knees to your chest and rock from side to side. Okay, so we're going to go into the shoulder stand and then we're going to do different variations with shoulder stand, halas and plow pose and uh, taking the legs wider apart. When you're going into the shoulder stand, especially when you're coming out of the shoulder stand, please engage your abdominal muscles so you can uh, keep the head down on the floor so, you're, so your head doesn't, doesn't come off the floor as you're coming off. Okay, so inhale, coming up, you can bring the shoulder blades with cutlers closer towards one another. And then staying up here for a few moments. An option is to go to half shoulder stand if taking your legs wider, uh, higher up is too much. You can cross your legs one way, staying there for a few breaths. And cross your legs the other way. And then uncross them. Inhale, open the legs out to the side. Inhale up, exhale down. One more time, and then lift the legs. Inhale, draw the legs together, and then from here, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, exhale, alternating the legs. In, exhale. Stimulate your baker's nerve, the longest nerve in your body. And then maybe going into halas and plow pose, maybe your feet can touch the floor. You can even extend your arms and maybe touch your toes. You can also take the legs wide apart from one another. Deep breaths. And then 
carefully bringing the legs together and then you can maybe even bend the knees and bring them on both sides of your ears. And then very carefully bringing the knees together, engage the stomach so you can keep the head down on the floor. That's wonderful. And now bring the palms on your belly, the other one on your diaphragm and stay in here for a few moments. Correct the inverted postures. We're going to do matsyas and fish pose. Fish pose is not for everyone. Those with neck problems, you can turn yourself on your belly and do the cobra. Otherwise, there are different variations of matsyas, and the way I like doing it is bringing my palms underneath my bum and I extend my legs in front of me. And an important thing to remember in this pose is not to put the uh, body weight on your neck but on the top of the head. So in, in order to avoid doing that, you're going to lift the head off the floor as you're going in the pose and as you're coming up. So it looks like that. Inhaling. It is a beautiful pose. It opens your throat chakra, your heart chakra. One more breaths. And then inhale, let the head off the floor, bring the chin down and then lock yourself down. Hug the knees to your chest again, roll from side to side. And then bring the knees back to the center, bring the feet down on the floor, take your arms out to the side like aeroplane wings and take the knees to one side. If your neck is okay, you can turn the head the opposite direction. And just breathe, imagine you're breathing a very powerful energy into your spine. So your spine elongates, the more inhales that you take, the more it elongates. And then on the exhalation, you're drawing that energy down to the base of your spine, to the base chakra, drawing any impurities, stress, tension, depression, anxiety out of your body. Few more breaths, inhaling, exhaling. chest again, hug them. Stay here for two breaths. You can rotate your ankles one way a couple of times, the other way a couple of times and then bring the knees to the other side and again turn the head the opposite direction. Stay the inhaling this beautiful energy, powerful energy traveling up to the top of your head and on the exhalation drawing all the stresses down and out of your body. the center again, hug the knees, roll from side to side, and then roll the 
legs up to one side of the head of your hands. Lift your head to come up. And then sitting with your legs crossed. Bringing the palms on your knees. And you can start drawing the circles with your upper toes. So inhale, come forward. Exhale, back. Four more times. And then changing the direction. to the center. Bring the palms with your heart and take, draw some deep breaths in here. Inhaling at the count of four, exhaling at the count of six. Fill your lungs with new, freshly purified air and are you letting go of stress as you exhale? Form of breaths. And you can open your eyes, wiggle your fingers. Before we part, I'm going to share something with you on acceptance and letting go of wise words by Tikma Ham. To be beautiful means to be yourself. You don't need to be accepted by others. You need to accept yourself. Letting go gives us freedom and freedom is the only condition for happiness. If in our heart we are still clinging to anything, anger, anxiety or possessions, we cannot be free. For things to reveal themselves to us, we need to be ready to abandon our views about them. Take my hand, we will walk. We will only walk. We will enjoy our walk without thinking or arriving anywhere. The raft is used to cross the river. It isn't to be carried around on your shoulders. The fingers which points at the moon isn't the moon itself. Thank you very much for joining me, my friends. Have a peaceful day, evening, night. Namaste. Thank you.